Hello and welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, uh, as you can see, we have Lindsay Lohan passed out in her automobile. I'm not sure what kind of car she has. Anyway, um, that's not really the point. The point is, is I'm going to show you how to cut people out of their background in Photoshop. Um, it's kind of a beginner's tutorial, but uh, I'm tired of seeing kind of poorly done cutouts in Photoshop. Uh, the, okay, uh, I'm just going to get into it. The first thing you want to do is unlock that background layer. You double click on it, click OK. It's unlocked. You can make a copy of it if you want just by dragging it into the layer. And just uh, using the copy of the layer. So that way you always have your um, your backup layer, and just in case you accidentally lose something that you don't want to lose. Anyway, the first thing that I like to do is uh, we will kind of, there's a couple different ways to do it, but this is the, the way that I think is the best way to do it. I'll take my, uh, my lasso tool and I'll use my polygrammatic lasso tool uh, for this particular image, and I'm just going to cut around the area that I kind of want to preserve. You can get as close to it as you want, as long as you don't cut into it. I'll go kind of fast for you, just for you. Okay, and now we have our basic image there. And uh, what you'll do is you'll either press Q on the keyboard, or you can select this uh, little button down here. And what that'll do is it'll enter in quick mask mode. I'll show you. And uh, you can see that uh, you have uh, this red area that will eventually be uh, masked out. Or, and you have this area that you want here. And what you'll do is you'll zoom in very closely to the uh, to the area that you want to cut out. And that might just be a smidge too close. But about like that would be good. And you will select, in quick mask mode, you will select a brush. And you will make it the size that you want. It doesn't really matter, whatever size you're comfortable with. Click on this... Uh, the hardness thing up here and make the hardness about 85 or 90. I'll go 87. You can kind of decide what you think looks best as you learn more. Anyway, then you just kind of cut out the, the image that you want. And uh, a good trick that you do is that if you click in a spot and you go on a fairly straight path and you know you hold you you'll push down shift and you click again it will uh, automatically uh, brush over to that, to that area in your point and you can just kind of do that along the whole edge and it kind of it'll save you a lot of time if you use that technique anyway i'm just going to kind of go quickly here and just go all around the outside edge if you learn this, if you master this technique, um, it's very impressive to employers if you can do this quickly because it's generally a task that takes um, a lot of people kind of a lot of time. So if you can take a, you know, it's not uncommon if you get a job as a designer or something that you'll get a, a folder uh, full of pictures that, you know, somebody needs for, for advertisements or something. Uh, they don't want the particular backgrounds and they want you know a nice white background or something instead so you all what you'll have to do is you'll have to cut out all the products in these you know product shots and uh, and they'll be pretty amazed if you can you know in one day or in a fairly short amount of time you know, 20 or 30 of these images it's not the funnest thing in the world to do but as a designer or whatever, you end up doing it a lot. At least I have. Especially when you're starting out. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll just zoom out so I can kind of go a little quicker. The reason I like to go around the outside with that uh, lasso tool in the beginning is because, as you can see, now I don't have to go through and brush this whole background. I have pretty much what I want right here. Okay, so anyway, we'll go out of quick mask mode now by pressing Q on the keyboard or by pressing that button again. And uh, 
so you'll have a selection there. And what we'll do is uh, it looks like it selects the area that you want to keep and all you'll do is you'll press your mask button down here and uh, oops sorry about that and you'll have your, uh, your selection that you wanted and now we have Sunzi Lohan passed out. If you wanted to then you could add another layer drop it underneath that layer uh, grab your paint bucket tool, select the color you want, drop a nice color back behind there. So now you have a nice yellow background behind Lindsay Lohan. Uh, as you can see, there's some rough spots on where I cut mine out, but if you take a little bit more time, uh, you can completely avoid that. And now that you have just masked it out, you can take your, uh, your brush now, and you can brush back in the areas that are rough and recut them out with your eraser. As you can see. Anyway, um, that's, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And whatever. Tell your friends. All that good stuff. Thank you very much.